It's lunchtime. This is the time when most people sit at the desk and then reach for something to eat, which in most cases would be a beautiful salad sandwich, eating while being on the computer, while rushing to work, while being somewhere in a subway. The fact is, having a sandwich for lunch should come with the exact same warning signal and a sign that is on cigarettes. If you smoke this cigarette, you will get a very bad lung. You will die. You will die. You will get very, very, very sick. So this should be on sandwiches. Unfortunately, it's not. So today I show you how you can actually use lunch to become very fit, very strong and very healthy. So that at 3.30 you won't suddenly slump over and boom, be dead you will be full of energy and vitality. So therefore, the first thing what we're going to do is throw this away. This does not belong to lunch. Lunch means a good meal. And I'm going to show you how to prepare a proper energy chi power meal. This process of cooking a serious power chi lunch that will take you through the afternoon feeling like you are Mr. Superhuman, that will go in three stages. It's called the slow cooking phase. That means we let it cook slowly in order to truly build the energy in there. Everything that says fast food means fast killer, whereas slow cook means slow cheap. Big chi, strong, big, healthy, kick ass. We want to have a long life so we truly live and enjoy ourselves right up to the last moment of life. So therefore, I'm going to show you how to do this in three stages. Stage number one is we need a pot. Without pot, no life. Next thing is to put that pot on a stove and actually turn it on. It's amazing how many people follow this up and actually don't turn on the stove and they wonder why it's nothing happening. Fire or heat is crucial, otherwise there is no alchemy. Process. We need something to process. We need to burn it. Burn. Not raw. Raw means you can't digest. Burning means the pot and the stove will do the process for you and then mix it to get into incredible ingredients with the energy and when you take it on it will be easily absorbed and will make you strong and the energy is available to be distributed to every aspect of your body. So therefore, pot. Then slow cooking on the absolutely slowest part not heat fast heat slow brown rice brown rice if it's cooked slow over time it will be beautifully absorbed and there's a lot of energy in brown rice that's not in the other legume in brown rice the husk is a very potent ingredient that in fact builds big muscles and controls weight therefore brown rice approximately one cup because what we cook now is for three people or you cook it for yourself put the rest in the freezer so you can actually take it with you the next day cup of brown rice and that brown rice one cup we need lots of filtered clean water in this situation here in context to the one cup of brown rice we're using at least one liter of filtered water you need to keep topping up as the day goes on most likely the next ingredient using a little bit of green lentils okay just a snitch just to put a few in there it combine 
together with the brown rice, the lentils work really well in order to produce powerful proteins. In case you make this a vegetarian option, you could use obviously one cup rice, one cup lentils to truly bring in all the amino acids that are combined together, create the complete protein. Rock salt. We're using quite a bit of salt because we need salt. Then we're using cow curry powder. And because if you like it tasty, put quite a bit in there. Nutmeg. Quite a bit. We're going to create a flavor that works with the energy in there in order to produce the perfect alchemy. Time. This is time. As you can see, huge amount. Olive oil. Olive oil is very important. Without oil, the whole production of energy can't occur. You've got to put it in there. Olive oil does not make you fat. The oil is required for processes to occur that will make you strong and fit and lean and muscly. Vinegar, rice vinegar. Once again, lots, quite a bit, quite a bit. The next thing is we work with onions. Okay, we cut, we chop the onions, big pieces. So we got like quite a bit of onions in there too. And we're gonna stir it up. As you can see, this is already looking very interesting in terms of what will this produce? People look at it and say, my God, it's too much water, too much this, too much that. You will see very soon that this is actually required. Okay. And that's it. So this is stage one. And now you let it simmer for at least one hour, one and a half hour. Maybe even you can even say two hours. But I would say 90 minutes. This means now you can do a lot of other things. You can go back to your desk, do lots of work, catch up on the emails, whatever needs to be done. So first of all, we put the heat right up in order to boil it. Once it cooks, we put it to simmer. But in order to get started, to get the bubbles up, we bring it to that position. It's two hours later. We have cooked the fish slowly. We cooked the lentils and the rice and all the herbs and the spices slowly and this is what it's gonna look like now as you can see it really has reduced itself but in there is so much energy I've created in here a food that is either designed for three to four people or you would put it into little containers after it's cooled down and put it in the freezer. And then next morning you would take it with you to work and then heat it up. It would defrost itself and then by the time you finish your work at the office at 1.30 it's beautifully defrosted, you take it into the kitchen and then quickly warm it up. What I showed you so far 
you could have used at home if you work from home. So every morning after breakfast you set up the rice, then you put the spices in, phase one finished, you do your stuff in the office, you work on your computer, emails, etc. Then after one hour you return to do stage two, put the fish in and then you return to your work. Now it's time, this next phase will actually complete the whole process in 10 minutes for you to have an incredible powerful energy infused meal that will take you through the afternoon and it's yummy at the same time. I prepared some veggies, they're all nicely chopped now and it's broccoli, zucchini and green beans. When it comes to the green vegetables, we actually don't cook them for very long. Quinoa flakes. The idea is now to put quinoa flakes on top of it. Just mix it in a little bit and you will find it's actually all it's required. You can see now you see what appeared to be so much water in the when we started, it's now actually not that much. And now it's a really beautiful, creamy substance. Ah, oh, this is just going to be gorgeous. Now I'm going to use a pan and I put it on full heat. I take the lid and just leave it sit there. On another two minutes, I'm actually going to turn it off and I'm using sunflower kernels and I'm gonna quickly toast the sunflower kernels. I probably would use a quarter of a bag that would be maybe 100 grams, 150 grams because sunflower seeds are highly nutritional and they taste really well. If you toast them they create a really nutty flavor Sunflower seeds have a lot of chi. It's the sun is in there. Chi is in there. Then you've got the wild fish. Lots of chi in wild fish. You've got brown rice and lentils combined together. Lots of protein and energy. Rice means chi. So you're putting together a lot of chi here. It's an alchemy going off. It's a process that you are cooking incredible high states, it makes you ready for the next. In the meantime you can feel the veggies, the vegetables coming to the point where it's almost like you can feel it. It's been in there for five minutes. Turn the heat off and let the energy in the food that has been cooked now for over two hours, maybe three hours. It will now continue that process. So the heat is off but the process will continue. In the meantime, we're gonna get this happening now. We try to get the sunflower seeds toasted where they are slightly brown. Yeah, now it's, it's starting getting the color. Now we're gonna turn it off. Now we're gonna return to this incredible curry. And then look at what's, what it's, it's developing to something serious. So, because you use the quinoa flakes in it, you can see, look at that, look at the creamy consistency. Yeah. As I said, this is the, a meal for three people. I mean, personally, I would eat all this myself, obviously, but um, I can't appear to be greedy on camera. Um, this is just no problem for me to eat this all. It does not make you fat. It makes you strong. It gives you big muscles. It makes you fit. All right. Acidophilus yogurt. Now we're coming to the end of this process. Make sure this is not going black because we're not doing black sesame seeds here. Brown. And now we're going to put 
You're really into it. And it's going to create this incredibly powerful chi product in the yogurt designed to really assist in the digestive process. Oh, yeah. And now we're going to stir it all together. Big pot for three people or a decent pot for me. All right, this is like a, as you can see, this is turning into a serious meal. And now, I just want to give you an example of what it's going to look like. So that now you could actually put that on one plate. Add the sesame on top of it. This may look like a simple meal. It may look like something mixed together. You eat this, your leg, your life will change. You have this for lunch, and you will power through the rest of the day. You had your beautiful breakfast with a mysterious dark power porridge and you have to see my video for that but now it's lunchtime and you're gonna have an incredible beautiful yummy tasting fish curry with all the ingredients all the goodness that's required to build your heart energy because it's lunchtime it's about your heart it's about the seed of your soul it's about you having the banquet with your emperor you are meeting the peak of the day, you have worked all morning very hard, you exercise hard in the mornings, you practice, you had your beautiful breakfast, you worked very hard, now it's time to get your first reward and sitting back and letting the chi come towards you because you have invested in the physical, now the physical returns to you what you need in order to continue to engage this journey towards incredible highs, perfection, love, whatever you put your agenda, your focus onto it. But this food is going to deliver. As you eat in line with your destiny, as you eat in line what you need, you will become the person you always wanted to be. You realize yourself with eating the correct foods. Foods is designed to become who you're supposed to be. Eating is a science. Eating is art. If you know what to eat, how to eat, you will go all the way to your most desired dream. In my book, The Perfect Day Plan, I describe how to eat and how to work with lunch because lunch is not scoffing down a stupid, ridiculous, absolutely outrageous, obnoxious sandwich. It is about becoming the person you were designed for, you were created with a very specific mission in mind. This universe created you to become that person you're supposed to be. And that requires understanding how to eat, not to fill the stomach, how to work with the science with eating, how to work with the mystical aspect of putting ingredients together that then manifests your dreams, your reality, so that you have a lunch that will, will take you all the way to the absolute experience. Become who you're supposed to be. Don't give in to lower-minded ideas. Become the person you want to be. Know how to eat. Live lunch. Live chi. Become chi.